All right, here we go. Welcome everybody to the 2018 U.S. Open Eight Ball Championship here at Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. Freddie Agnew here in the corner man with George Teachea, my esteemed colleague. Esteemed? I got promoted. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. We have 39 entrants in this year's U.S. Open Eight Ball Championship. And uh, these are two. This is the uh, second round losers. Uh, one one loss. loss side. Excuse me. They're all winners, all uh, champions. Both players had a bye to begin with. Then uh, Ernesto lost to Ian Costello, and Alex lost to um, Dennis Hatch. Our opponents are, our combatants are Alex Olinger and Ernest, Ernesto Dominguez. Uh, I think a lot of people are familiar with Ernesto. He's out of California, great table mechanic. He's been a pro player for many, Forever. many years. Forever. Alex is one of our young guns. Ah, it's tough to call Alex a young gun because he's like the next generation now out of Dayton, Ohio. Uh, you know that he plays with a Doug Patrick Q, one of many young talents here that are sponsored by High Rock. There's quite a few of those guys I've seen. Yeah. Alex was actually featured at the one point in the that Hustler Road Show that uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan. Oh, was okay. doing. Mm -hmm. it came up against Alex, and of course, a pool player playing pool. Awfully tough for anybody just coming walking in from another oh. background. That's Ernesto right. was uh, practicing the break over and over again, and unfortunately, Un unsuccessfully. Well, <laughs> since he did scratch, he did scratch. We are playing CSI rules. That would be the same as the BCA Pool League and the USA Pool League CSA. CSI Q Sports International is the parent company. So on the break, kind of scratch. It's ball in hand anywhere. And it is a race to eight. The finals for this tournament will be a race to 10. Sponsors for the US Open Eight Ball Championships are the Rio Hotel Suites and Casino, Simona's Cloth, Cyclop Balls, Acme Cases, Predator 1080 Pure Chalk, and Diamond Products. This is and the right shot here, but he's got to hit that uh, the 15 and make sure he gets separation. If he just kind of cozies up there, it'll be just as bad as, as it is now. Kind of like that. Hang on. Oh, oh, boy. His insurance ball turned out to be the six ball, the one he moved. <laughs> That's right. Otherwise, he came down, and he would have a tough shot on the five, but a shot nonetheless. It looks like if he pockets the six ball, he's going to have to either stop it which wouldn't be bad, or roll it all the way into the kitchen to play the three ball. I think he probably wants to take care of business down table there, and he probably stops it and plays the one next. That's not even close. But um, he hit that ball out. Um, that would have been a fancy shot if he had been <laughs> calling it, but I believe he was playing the six ball in the corner pocket. Didn't and exactly sell out, though, because the first shot for Ernesto at the high ball is either a back cut on the 15 or a back cut on the 10 on the side. You see anything else that he can actually oh, shoot first? Uh, Offensively, that is? The 10 ball on the side. Yeah, uh, the back cut from there. It looks like like that 12 ball might go past the 4. No, I don't think it does. Um, he doesn't have much of a shot to start with. No. I think he sees the 12 better than we do because he's shooting right at it. Is it the 12 or the 15 he's shooting? 12. And, he's, and he shot it and made it, so it did go by. Wickets. Yeah. Yeah. Another tough shot, but once, oh no, he's got a ball right there. What am I talking about? I think he's got a good shot to get out here. 13, 11 are, are the tricky parts there. Of course, the 10 also doesn't go in there. So every ball down there is tricky. Ernesto's playing with a cue that he doesn't know who made the button. I <laughs> asked him about it. I said, because uh, it looks like a Southwest. <laughs> it does. It, it has could be anything features. from it here. Anything. Uh, and his shafts are actually painted white. And he's uh, worked on them himself. And, uh, Painted and uh, sanded smooth. Oh my, they're, yeah, they're, they're nice looking. He had them out last night and I, I, I was taking a look at it and I said, who made the, who, who makes this? And he goes, I don't know. I'll take a look, not to say that I don't trust your judgment, but I'm sure that there would be no question if it was a Southwest. Oh no, it didn't have the, it didn't have the pin, uh, the Southwest pin, so no. But it looked like uh, along those lines, so some kind of imitation work or, uh, I didn't take a look at it closely. It looked nice. It looked very well made. I think he wants to bump the time to get it clear. Ah, he's playing for the side pocket. Oh, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. 
And he's put himself in a position to play shape for the 11, then the and come back for the eight. Probably plays them both in the same pocket. Ernesto is one of the most impressive professional players. He's been around forever, and every time I see him in a tournament, he is competitive. Sometimes, just a couple of years ago at the U.S. Open, he went pretty deep at the U.S. Open nine ball tournament. Um, he is a competitive player. He's been, you know, playing pool for a long time. I first met him in 1993, the Qtopia Billiards here in uh, in Las Vegas. One well, nothing. And after a bad miss by Alex, really. Mm -hmm. He had ball in hand and uh, kind of got out of position and shot a long shot, and that's all she wrote. Yes, he did. Ernesto scratch. Scratch on the break. Alex took ball in hand. Got a little out of line. Missed that long six ball up table. Mm -hmm. um. Alex won the Music City Open a few years ago. Certainly Music. not. That's a big tournament. Yeah, not a uh, stranger. Not a stranger to heavy competition. Yeah. Nor the winner circle. Hmm. Always see him at the Derby City Classic out of the Midwest. Giving a shout out to Champs out in Wichita, Kansas. See how he breaks him. Pretty big, pretty solid ball in the side pocket. As of right now, the balls are wide open, but here comes something. He's got a shot on the seven, it looks like. And I'm not sure if he can see that three ball down by that pocket. There's Seems other like, options. Yeah, if he could see the three, he'd probably shoot it, but mm -hmm. looks like he's actually a little bit hooked. He could possibly bank the 14 ball to the side pocket. Um, I'm just looking for an opening shot for him. I think the seven ball must go. That seems what he's being, he's lining up on, so drawing a bead. That's it. Right now everything's really open, so mm -hmm. the toughest ball will be the two ball and probably play that in the side pocket or come back down table to the corner pack when he gets to it. I suspect two on the side. <laughs> really just uh, execution here because Alex has really solved this, this rack. Got them in the mo open, nothing is tied up. It's not tic-tac-toe, but just choose the uh, choose a good pattern and stick with it. Mm -hmm. The and angle to the one ball is probably the toughest thing here because he has to make sure that the one ball and the four ball he can come back down table for the eight ball in the center of the center of the table. Doesn't seem to be too big of a deal, but sometimes people kind of forget about it and get in exactly the wrong spot. You don't want to be dead straight here. And he's not. He's not. Probably just stop it and play the four. No, he's going to come out. The only really uh, problem with this is now he got a little bit too straight. Yes. And he, I think he can he still can. stay on on this side where his hand is. If he chooses to go to the opposite side and the high side of the table, he could overrun it and get behind the ball. Yeah, it looks like he's either got a power left hand English, power right hand English. Those are the two choices. I thought Both would follow. Yeah, I thought he might have stopped that last shot. There it is, there powered, he powered left hand English. You see how short he's going to come yes. up. He's yes. He's now going to be forced to play a uh, carom, which I think he'll make. Steve Cutler, carom. 
from the angle here, mm -hmm. it looks yeah, like the, the, the cut is over 90 degrees, but you know, these guys fool us all the time. This, um, yeah, he, he's hating this, but that's where he put himself in. He put it there. Now, see, I thought when he, when he sh before he shot his last shot, he would play it to the upper corner pocket and bring yeah. the ball back a little bit, get straight in on it. Yeah. And he chose to shoot, uh, shoot outside of the ball. It's, uh, you know, what I was Choices talking about, those last two balls, you, mm -hmm. you know, just a little bit, I don't want to say carelessness, but he kind of picked the right angle, and there's a bunch of wrong angles there. And couldn't be too flat because then he couldn't hit it as hard. Well, I, you know, from from for myself, a lot of times I'll play a shot like that, and it comes off the rail not as much or a little bit less than mm. I expect. Right. So yeah, I, I'm aware of where I want to get, and then I, but I just don't get there. That mm. could have been the case. With could have been the case there too. Yeah. All right. Well, he's called the bank here, which is going to be quite spectacular considering how how far this cue ball is going to go. He's going to really have to open up off that rail. No, he ended up. He did end up playing the carom. Oh, okay. he, he called the bank, but maybe he just was just goofing around because it looked like that carom, which is what we said to begin with, was going to well, be the yeah. shot. Yeah, this is a gift for Ernesto. Uh, Alex was in control of that rack till he kind of, I guess you might want to say, got out of line on the last two balls, as you mentioned. Yeah, he did. And You'd uh, think that staring bo both balls easily couldn't possibly be out of line, but yeah. that's the this is the trickiness of eight ball. Yeah, just a slight, subtle angle can 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 make a difference in what you do. Because, and part of the reason, uh, and this was told to me by a very good player, very good player, you don't want to look like an idiot shooting a shot and missing it. So you shoot it, you shoot it different just because just you, don't, you don't want to miss it. That's right, because you don't want to look like an idiot missing that ball trying to get shape. Ernesto is a little out of line here himself, unless he can play this 13. I thought he was playing for it. He I guess can, he can still play it. He, he can, can still play it. Yeah, he can come back for the, for the 11. He has to, I think. Eleven in side pocket. This is good. I float this one. What do you do, George? Just pocket it and go ahead and it was you know centering so you can get he's gonna get shape on either ball. It feels more than like likely to me the that the, it feels to me that he's gotta play the other ball on the table first. And now he can come back to it to get in the same place or vice versa. Oh, yeah. He can play either ball. Either ball. Yeah. Guard against being straight in. The ball hopped a bit. You know, in, in my opinion, though, there, it was easier to play the, this ball first and I mean, then come to the 10 because you're already on that, the right side of the table. That's what I was saying, but I think the ball in the side pocket determined what he had to do instead of, if you had your choice, I think you're exactly right, that you would have played that ball first, the one he just pocketed, and then come to the 10 ball, which leads to the 8 ball from the key ball aspect, the key ball yeah. philosophy. But either way, we got it's out. another win for him. Alex uh, shaking his head a little bit. Look at that little uh, extension that uh, Ernesto has on his cue. Or is that part of the way that's the, the butt, shaft that's is made? That's the butt. Oh, that's in the, the middle. In the yeah, middle, yeah, he's got yeah. one of those uh, mid midpoint extensions, four inch extension or so. Looks small. Commercially available. Yeah. It does look small from here. It looks just over two and a half inches yeah, because the cue ball is right there, so it's about the same size. Maybe it's a three inch extension. Could be. I suppose that's all you need. I think you can make it at two inches. You only need so much space for the insert. Now, now, they call those uh, uh, four-inch extensions what, Balance Right or something like that? That is a brand that makes them. Yeah. They've been available long before Balance Right okay. by other companies. But I, I, I'm assuming, since I don't use it, I'm assuming that that adds to the balance since it's named that way? No, no, I, that's, no, just, no? that's the name of the company. Okay. Simply the name of the company. Okay. The actual, I think the official name is Mid-Q Extension. Ah. Ray Shuler has been making those. The Ray Shuler company has been making those since the 80s. I'm sure other people do too. I just, you know, to me, being, you know, 5'9", 58 inch cue works just fine for me. I don't make need to make it a little longer. I've tried playing with a 60 inch cue. Uh, it seems uh, doesn't fit me, so I just go back to that, and I don't see the reason for for that mid cue extension. Well, I'm a little but a lot short. Of people swear I'm, by them. I'm a little shorter than you are, and if I had my ch choice, I'd always play with a, an extension. Unfortunately, yeah. most rooms, like a home room, uh huh, they only have five feet. Now you need more room. Yeah. Big break, open break, but I don't think a ball went in. You broke those balls good too. With that exception. <laughs> well. 
I don't, I don't think either ball favor. The nine ball goes into the lower right corner pocket. The 10 ball is in, no problem. 15, no problem. And the solids. The five ball is the tricky one, but you know, either one of those. Mm -hmm. I think the high ball is probably what I would choose if I had, if I had to uh, make one. Well, it looks like if you take stripes, the only problem he has is the nine, but yep. that's, it's got a pocket. It's the same pocket he's gonna shoot the 11 into. If you take solids, the five ball is a concern. Exactly. Um, as you you know mentioned, but it's just so it's uh, choose one and go six of one, half dozen of the other. Yeah, you know where your problems are: the five ball and the nine ball. Get on those, and hopefully you get out. Playing the combination first. funny thing is that the moment he's shot that ball, if the stripes had any problems at all with that 13, which I didn't think was a problem anyway, mm -hmm. it certainly isn't a problem now. Well, you know, the one thing we mentioned about the five, from this angle, I can see you can play the six to the same pocket where the two ball is. Right. Stop his cue ball and have a shot on the five. Yeah, or or if use the, the or if he had to stop with it with the 15 anyway. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's doesn't want to get this eight ball out of the way. So now it's all about that 7-5 pair. Get to that, and I think he's okay. Just got to find a way to get up there. That's right. That's he, right. He wants to get up for the three now. I think he's just kind of picking the center of he's the table. He's got it. He's got it. He's there. And I see what's happening here. Is like it's almost like he's forced to shoot the trouble balls last, which generally will reduce your chances of running out because there's less balls to back you up. Uh, his cue ball's on the high side of the table, so that's where he wants to be for his trouble balls. He, he can shoot this ball now and still get over it. If he could have his cue ball where it is now, he's perfect to get out. On that same line, anywhere on that same line. You'll probably try to get a little closer to it. I think I had two railing this one. I, I don't mind this one because the 15 sits as a blocker. The 15 is not going to go anywhere, so. Sits as a blocker. It sits as a blocker. But he's got to make sure he hits it. He can't just cozy it and miss it. I'm talking about playing the five ball up table. I am, yeah. So here, oh, okay. playing the 15 to, as a blocker. You'll see when he hits this. And he missed that ball, but he's, uh, see, so what's the problem here is now it's a thicker cut or a thinner cut than a hanger. Had he drawn that into the 15, the 15 drops, and he's actually playing position for the five ball. Straight in. He's going to make this. Don't get into trouble. It's Bounce. coming off. It's okay. coming off. Right. <laughs> it's one of those, it's the dangers of leading mm. the trouble, trouble ball as your last ball. But he's going to get there. It wasn't exactly hang around, but he's got a professional stroke, professional pocketing ability. Wins him the game. Yep.
Two, five, seven, three. Okay, he's gonna play the two ball first, and then the then the one ball. Okay. Keep an angle. Got to get off the rail. Jump. Should be good, I think. Yeah, it should be good. Should be good. Because <laughs> he comes, he's got a, a nice path for the for the cue ball to get to the to get to the five. Yeah, it looks like he's gonna go all the way down here, so he can play this five or the seven. Oh, don't bump that because that now closes up. <laughs> that now clears close that that um, path to the eight ball just a little bit more. Mm. He already was kind of limited. Uh, I would not. I would play this five ball way before I play the seven ball. Well, if he decides to play this three ball in the side pocket, he better get above it, but not too far above it. He can get straight in for the corner, too. It's just uh, look where he's at now. This is why he's coming down here, but now side. he's on the wrong side. That's, I'd like coming off the left side of the table towards the, the, the ball so that if you overrun it with speed, you're on the right line. So if he tries to hold this ball and shoot it from here, maybe the eight goes off the 14, but it's, if that's what it is, then that's what it is. He might go back and forth. Well, that's a lot of traffic to get through. And you have to oh, hit it hard. Yeah, he's gone back and forth, but uh, unsuccessfully. He has blocked the 15 ball. I've, I might run the, well, I was gonna say, I. Wow, he's in a little bit of a jam here, Ernesto is. He's yeah. got shots, but I'm thinking that he could easily pocket the, f uh, the ball in the corner with his, his ball, leave the 13 there, bring the cue ball up, and play safe. Yeah, this is going to be whether or not he's going to cherry pick these because it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. He's cutting the 12 on the side. Now he just might. Sure. He could do what we what I just mentioned, but he he might decide to just try to run out. He can pocket the the three and bring the cue ball back for uh, for a safety. Well, if he plays this to follow this, he's got to make sure that cue ball gets out of the way of the eight ball. And he miscued and just got there. He miscued and then didn't make the ball. Uh, he the three ball is still there. Yeah, he, he didn't want to. He wanted to make that ball because if it you know if he misses it, it can go to a place where he has a shot, and I think uh, he has a shot, and he can go back and forth uh, for position on the eight. He's gonna avoid the fifteen ball and the thirteen ball. Hmm. Oh, he missed it badly. He missed it. Well, I don't think Ernesto is going to waste much time here. Oh, he might. He might just roll over and push that uh, 15 ball in front of a hole and just play him safe. That's safer. All depends on that 14. You know, we keep on looking at it. For all we know, it goes easily. It doesn't look like it does. <laughs> but he, it just looks like the he's looking. He's going to take a better look look at it. But I think bank on the last angle we had of the table, it looked like uh, it wouldn't go. Ernesto is, is he doing some maintenance? He's not on the clock. Yeah, he's doing some tip maintenance. He miscued the last shot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Some guys, as soon as they miscue, they will they will uh, scuff their tip a little bit. Well, what happens with the miscue is that there was it rubs on the leather and it'll actually burnish it. So if you don't tap it, that burnish mark is still going to be mm -hmm. there. You can vigorously use the chalk and rub it on there since chalk itself is actually made out mm -hmm. of sand. Billiard chalk is made out of mostly something more similar. Yeah. Some I have that little sand. I have that little pointy tapper, the little little pick things. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that. It's a meat tenderizer. That's from yeah. my point of view that you, that's exactly what you don't want to do. So I just roll roll it with sandpaper or just use the chalk. Yeah. That's my personal preference. I understand. My personal preference is to use it. To use it. <laughs> <laughs> and he broke this ball out and now he's uh, uh, wide open here. Sure. And now if you don't get out, well, you just didn't get out. <laughs> that's and right. That's you right. Don't it's deserve all about, to win. It's all about execution. Yes.
Do you like going all the way up from the nine on the side here, or just for the corner pocket? Two rails, or, or just that's perfect. I was see, it. maybe he didn't go two rails because of the three. Because of the three. three, yeah, sure. And now he just pretty much gets straight in on this a uh, little bit of an angle on the fifteen and over for the either side for the eight. All he has to do is follow this ball to get on the eight. He can also uh, come across the eight. I doubt he's going to do that. Yeah, he's just going to follow it. I think it was somebody shot. else, like Shane or, or uh, a couple of the other, yeah. of other players uh, we've is, seen hit this him hard. This is a good shot. No, this is uh, it's just a matter of preference. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. Wow. He overcut this ball, he's and the three ball looks like yeah, it has goes. a good it shot at going here. It's a big gift. He gift wrapped that completely for uh, for Alex. The only thing you have to guard against is knock on this eight ball position where you can't actually make Hit it. Hit the rail first. This is tighter than uh, I first thought. Look yeah, at this is why. Yeah. Hit the rail first. Oh, oh I didn't no, have to. Didn't okay. have to. He had room. But uh, yeah, <laughs> no issues here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we're tied up. Well, that was a gift back. Instead of a three to one lead, they're tied at two. Big miss. But goes to show that even the pros will uh, miss some of those shots that look like they're pretty routine. Yeah. Makes us feel a little more uh, less vulnerable, I guess you might say. Oscar Dominguez has moved to Las Vegas. Has uh, Pops moved along with him, or did he stay back well, home? I, 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 that I can't answer that question. I, I, you know, once in California, you probably stay in California because you own a home there, and you don't want to get rid of it if you want to go back. <laughs> yeah. uh, price of homes up there are just. Uh, it's almost prohibitive to go there, and it's beneficial to leave there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ernesto, good, good, solid break. Oh. But he's dry in this, this 11 ball. Oh, it's it does. The last, pretty much the last, the last ball. ball moving. Yeah. I'll take a look. He's got a shot. The nine ball is the tricky part of this rack for the high balls and let's see what the low balls look like on the nine the two ball the two ball has no future neither does the one ball yeah. now this tournament is scheduled for uh, for four days uh, I believe the finals will be on on Tuesday Tuesday, Tuesday. we have matches at 11 actually yeah 11 one three five nine. Did we match us today at 11, or did they all start at 1 o'clock? we got to check the board. Yeah. We, we start streaming at um, 1 o'clock. Yeah, the matches started at 1 o'clock today. Did, no, there was a, there was a uh, match at 11. It was a... Uh, DeLuna and Michael Yetnik. Other match going on right now is Ray Robles, Cole Hogart. Uh, Mitch Ellerman is playing for Gal McElhinney. McElhinney. Andrew Deasing and Rory Hendrickson are also playing at the same time. Winner's side, we have some three o'clock matches. Coming up at three is Omar Al Shaheen, Torsten Holman, Oscar Dominguez, and Tyler Steyer, Dennis Hatch, and James Aranas, Ronnie Alcano, and Alex Pagulain. As right. you can see in this uh, in this rack, Ernesto did recognize the nine ball. 
has a problem, broke it up, but really didn't get a good reward here. Needs to figure out a way to make a ball because I don't believe he can shoot the ball up table. If he can, he's, he needs shoot it already. I don't believe he can back cut the 14 either. So if he shoots the nine, he's got to get on a ball. He's saying this ball goes. He's got to be able to see this other ball, the 10 ball. He can see it. Yeah. He can see he enough might, to make it. He might have to change his mind, go ahead and shoot the 12 ball and go up table. Not exactly the, the ideal pattern, but I th he's just forced to shoot it now. Yes. yes. And his ankle coming back. Right. Looks like he travels up to the middle. Yeah, he does. Just a little. Perfect. Now he's got to come to the left side of the table to where he is now. All right. On this shot. Well, if this was Rory Hendricks, then he'd probably play the 10 and kiss off the two ball to go to the left side. That was a <laughs> spectacular <laughs> shot last night. For those of you who missed he it, did it looks that. like he's and got that was twirl, his only option. Twirl left. He just does this, this is soft. Gonna, this is going to come out really nicely. Yes, it is. Great speed Very control nicely done. there. And he slow rolled that ball with a little, and I mean just a little outside English. Left-hand English. Away from the ball. That's good out, good out. Didn't miss that eight ball. Pretty so. nice uh, recovery on the nine ball, which he had to go into anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you have, I mean, it, it's not sometimes. Like every rack, you have to roll the dice on eight ball at least once, unless it's like a just picture perfect break. But mm -hmm. usually you're going to have to run into something, rub something, bump something, and you, you just got to get a shot afterwards or recover. Yeah, you just got to do what you got to do to get your shape if you get out of line. Stay in line, you're probably in good shape. You probably never move your cue ball after contact. But that's the ideal <laughs> way to run patterns. I think we need to start changing the ideal because people sometimes get confused. Like, it can't happen. You know, it only happens once in a while when exactly. things go exactly. like that. Yeah. Exactly. Because if you never saw a tough uh, pattern, when the tough pattern comes, you'll never know what to do. <laughs> well, you should have cue ball control. You, well, I mean, absolutely. And you probably do if you're playing at this level. And it, you'll it notice. It does vary. Yeah, you'll notice every one of these guys are going to come up in situations to, to bump out balls and mm -hmm. hopefully get away with it, come with a two ton shot, the Hail Mary. Did a ball go in? I mean, he racked himself, didn't he? <laughs> He's got the Apparently, because you, you heard that, that huge whack, and look at the balls. Looks like a one pocket break. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Except for the ball's way up table. Well, maybe it's two innings after the one pocket break. Okay, there you go. <laughs> up table game. What do you like here, Freddie? I uh, I'm looking at the it, it looks like he can he can make do by uh, with the stripes. He's only got really one problem ball um, and a little maneuvering, and it's one pro the, just the 12 and the, and the 11 that, are, yeah. that like, are in that rack there. I like the 13 and bump the 12 and run out. That's for the hero out. Okay. Put well, it all in one shot. I kind of like the 13 also, but I'm going to run into the 8 just barely. Just uh, soft roll this and run into the 8 and then get on the, get on the 11 and get out, or the 12 and get out. Yeah, he went with he the let's move the 12 yeah. idea. And he's just not going to like his, uh, <laughs> uh, what happened? He might be able to make this 11 ball. Uh, is that the 11? It is 11. 11. Ball. And, and he's, he's got to sneak the four ball out of there or else he's going to have exactly the same problem. Yeah, he does have to shoot this because he, he's, it's going to be too hard to get there again. again. Well, no, because the 14 ball's there, so he can get to that same same angle again. But he's there. Yeah. It's going to take a good cut. Oh, he, he kind of rolled it. Oh, boy. One stroked it. Can you see Almost the nine? slipped off. He, I think he, he can, can see, see the nine. nine. The yeah. 12 ball, however, is. He's got a good sh uh, He's got a shot on the 12 or the nine, but he can't get to the t 12 from the nine, I don't believe. And I don't think he can get from the nine to the 12. He could, but look how tight it is. Yeah, if he's there, he can back cut the 12. Yes. 
Well, he certainly has a good shot at getting there for the back cut on the 12. Just clear the six. This is where I say to myself, just clear the six, clear the six, and I put it right on top of the six. That's, uh, That's too it, much. That's too much. He's, he's going to shake his head. Yeah, well, he he's staring at it. The, the good thing is he still has a shot on the 14, but he can't stop the ball there. He, it's going to be hard. That trouble ball is going to be his doom this game. He's going to take a great shot on the 14, but that's he's going to have to shoot the 10 ball next because he has to keep the 14 there to, to open up the 12. I don't think he can do it from another ball. I wonder how much with of this 12 ball he can actually hit. With any degree of accuracy. Or high percentage. Ernesto's in trouble. Yeah. And he's chalking his cue. Chalking his cue while he's thinking. Yeah, if he can no, there's like one spot on the table that he could leave the cue ball. One diamond out from the second diamond on the bottom rail. Well, not, not, not as we view it. Mm -hmm. okay. And he's gonna take the twelve ball out of there. Yeah, and just move the twelve ball on top of the three ball. Yeah. Oh he hit it too hard anyway, but he's tried to get it where I was saying. Take away the bank, leave a tough one ball. Yeah, that spot there right above one, maybe maybe a diamond, half a diamond off the rail would have been, I think that's where he was going. Move the 12. It was a move. It was an eight ball move. Move the furniture? Well, it was just a move the eight ball, uh, the, one, the one ball into a better spot, more advantageous spot, and give, leave him a tough, tough shot if he so chooses to right. shoot it. Now he's maneuvering. Yeah, yeah. It's a, um, it, he's made this a moving game now. Yeah, he's made a moving game, and, and he's he's actually yeah. It, it's not bad. They can if you could rub off the th three ball and just slide it down on the end rail. Esther would have to go up table. He can pretty much uh, shoot this one ball real softly. The cue ball froze on the head rail. Leaves a tough shot on the fourteen. Yeah. But that's the only shot he gives up. Oh, I'll bank on the 10. Yeah, either way, the way Ernesto played mm -hmm. this, the ball, yeah, it, it becomes a, there's no hang around here. There's no, no, there's no uh, sellout yeah, on any no. of this now. I'm going for this one and trying to get on the five next, because if I get on the five, I have the seven. If yeah. it goes by the three, does it go? It looks like, looks like it might go by the three. I'm not sure it does. Yeah, the shot by Ernesto is more um, similar to a push out. Mm -hmm. You know, you, mm -hmm. if he shoots the one and makes it, got a good shot of getting out. But you're saying you got, it's got to be slow, right? Yeah. It can't go yeah. across the table. What he could do is uh, come all the way down when he shoots the five, try to get on the four next, come between the, the six and he's, uh, he's, just you got choices, and um, just he's choosing kind of to move. Duck. He's yeah. choosing to move here. This uh, this is what eight ball is about when it's not the run out game, you know. This is fascinating. What could he possibly shoot that doesn't give it up? How, how do you like going off the three and bumping the seven real soft so he doesn't give up the twelve? Yeah, that's uh, he's got a nice similar for that. Similar to what I'd uh, and this works uh, except he's given up the fourteen. He's given up the 14 or the 10, 14 on the side. Mm -hmm. But the good news for Alex is that he took away a little bit of a pathway to the 12 ball, making it a little bit harder. I see a path to the 12. Yeah, but it's it's, it's tough. It's not so easy. Yeah, no, you know, you could have laid the ball on the end it's rail and had the 12, but no longer. So yeah, not a bad it. shot. It's a gamble. Yeah. There's no guarantees getting to the 12. There's a couple of ways to come into it, and there's no guarantees. So, which means that he probably won't shoot it. <laughs> right, yeah, here we go. I, I don't have a problem with him necessarily hanging up this 10 ball. Oh, he's gonna shoot the 14. Okay. So. Well, that's interesting. He, this tells me he's gonna be trying to get there. This is his path to the 12. Bank the 10. Mm, no, He's that, bank no, the, 10. the other ball is a path to the 12. This is, I don't see a path here. I see a safety here. No, banking no, the 10. banking the 10. And now we go forward. 
He's got to hit this awfully good because it's coming the wrong way. It'd be nice if he can go all the way to the end rail, but he doesn't have the angle anymore. If he just, if he can bump the seven softly, that works. And I was thinking the path before that, if he had a little more angle when he, before he shot the 10, he could shoot that, hit the rail underneath the five and come towards, uh, it's just a tough, tough shot, tough shot. You really have to uh, do something well. Yeah, shooting the 10, he, if he missed it, he covered the one. But if he made it, he was thinking down straight, straight down here, but he didn't get straight, which was tough to do no matter what. High right hand English to get down yeah, there, to get gets down, down there, get down there, get down one more. He's got to come down. He's got to, yeah, he had to come all the way down. He's called it pretty quickly, he called it too. I'm going to learn a shot just, here. There's like no way. He's playing it safe, I think. Ball in hand. Yeah, it's a ball in hand. I don't. Uh, I'm going to uh, break that seven away and stick him behind the five. I don't see why he'd have to break out anything here. To shoot him? I think so. I think so. I playing just for the deuce next. I want to get ball in hand again. <laughs> <laughs> I want to punish my opponent. Ball is the uh, key ball. It looks like the two ball. Float forward. You could just stop it, I guess. Play the three ball last. Uh, next. Pound the eight. Crawl this one. shot on that seven ball when he bumped the seven ball out of there I almost it was like oh, well I didn't get there so let's get on with the game <laughs> yeah, seven ball is going to be last yeah, he's not going to he doesn't want much of an angle on the seven no. looks like he's going to have more angle than he wants The good news is he bumped the eight ball over there, so he's got a little bit more room to work with. This is one of those decelerate strokes, and, and sometimes he'll lose the stroke. Uh, I'm going back and forth. I'm not taking a chance on slow rolling this ball. Yeah. And then there's also that reason that uh, going back and forth, you don't give up the 12. Except for a bank. Well, Ernesto should feel fortunate to be back at the table on this rack. Mm -hmm. Will he play him safe behind the eight? Or bank it and go for it? Certainly seems like the safety behind the eight is uh, the yeah. shot, but he decides <laughs> he just to go cuts left it right in. in. <laughs> Thins it in. <laughs> that was a good cut. I didn't think he'd try to cut that ball. It seemed more like a f frustrated shot. Yeah, well, he got the Ginzu out and frustrated yeah. that one, didn't he? <laughs> Gotta make this. He did. That's in the center, I think. Yep, yep, yep. Took a while to get there. Looking for the rack. Two game lead. He just played that to a two game lead. Very nice cut on that uh, ball at the end there. It's Sunday morning. Did you guys all go to church this morning? I am at church. <laughs> The Church of the Blue Cloth, or is that Diamond That's Church? It, the Diamond Church. You know, the Derby City Classic, where it started, they put their, uh, the tables in, in, in the ballroom of the hotel, but mm -hmm. there was a little section that people called the chapel. Ah. They'd put the tables in there, a little alcove area, very nice and cozy. 
the chapel at the Executive West. You have to tell me more about Derby City because, like I told you, I've never gone, never been. Nobody wants to pay my way in my <laughs> hotel and stuff. I can't find a sponsor. I can't blame them. <laughs> well, if you're a one-pocket player, I mean, it's the Mecca. That's exactly what I've heard. It's like Mecca and the Rendezvous all the same. I mean, people ask me where I go on vacation in the wintertime, and I say, well, I go just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. And they tell you you're not middle, <laughs> middle of January. Because <laughs> it's cold. And I can't imagine not going there. Big break. High ball in. Smacked them, cracked them, cracked them, smacked them, and cracked them. That's right. Low, low balls are wide open. I expect Ernesto to run right through this. How many balls will he bump? Just the 14? I'm going to go with none. None? Okay. I'm going to go with none. I'm going to go out on the limb. Since I've already said he's going to run straight out, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with he's going to run this one easily. Clean, huh? Does it count if he bumped his own ball? Because he's <laughs> about to. <laughs> uh, you said clean. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see if he does that. Just for me. He'd have to shoot the six ball, not to bump the ball. Oh, boy. Seven ball. He might not bump this he three. He might not bump it. Yeah. No. Oh, sorry. You're done. <laughs> and now he's put himself in a tougher position. Uh, if no, he can make a three, no problem. But if he makes a six ball, now he's going to come all the way up table. And the tables, you know, is that are three so go tight. by the five? It looked it. I can see the seven. I just, I guess it does go by the five. He's lining up on it. Now, if he bumps another ball, I don't lose it again, right? No, I've already no, lost already once. Lost. <laughs> we won't hold it against you, Freddie. Right. Thanks. Thank you. Does he actually have a future if he shoots this three ball? Yes. He can hold the whole, whole shape for this ball. He, nope, no future anymore. No future And at he all. didn't hold shape. Yeah, and he hit that one thick, too, so he yeah. really didn't have a future. Yeah. Well, that was pretty wide open. To this, His first shot has got him right in trouble. He's pretty wide open, but what kind of shot does he have? Nothing much. 14. Yeah, he's, he, he's, he's tree-topped over the ball to shoot the 14 ball. He uh, 15 has no future. He has no other shot. 14, jacked up for the that's 14, yeah. <laughs> jacked that's up a, for the 15 a, off the three. That's a one in 50. Well, don't bother moving that. Uh, why? Are you going to shoot those balls? And you might, you know, if you want to move that now, you're going to move the ball a little bit so you can get a shot maybe. Line it up right. there. <laughs> Michaela Tab over here. We have the answer to Michaela Tab. In Phoenix, Arizona, we have Veronica Poor. She's our on site referee. Is she a good referee? She does. She does a great job. She yeah. did a great job for her. I, I don't know her, so, uh, you know, I know Michaela's done international events, and so that's. We've used her for Sawara Cup, and Freezer used her uh, for his tournament. And now these move those balls. No, I'm just kidding. I, you know, it looked like he wanted to shoot this way. It didn't <laughs> look like the, those actually went, but you know, they might think we're they might not think we're kidding. I don't think he's called anything, has he? Uh, he's playing safe. I think he just wants to open that up. Yep, that's exactly what he was doing. Another movers game, but this this rack is wide open. I'm still surprised that first shot of Ernesto's got a lot of yeah, he missed out of position. And he missed it to the to the low side of the pocket, which means he had plenty of room to yeah, uh, he had plenty, yeah, he had of, room. plenty of room to make it. But even before that, you know, he shot a ball, could have gotten straight into one ball. Almost looked like he tried to play in between a couple of balls, and then both were not good, mm -hmm. as opposed to playing directly for one and getting good. Can he actually hit this ball coming this way? I guess he can. He's going to hit the bottom part of it. Where's he going with the cue ball? Where his hand is? There's two balls there. There's all kinds of balls. He's got to clear all the way up around. Table. All the way around. He 
He's given up the three. Oh, and the three's his. Never mind. Um, pretty good he's shot. Not a good shot. Yeah, pretty good shot. He's if he went farther, it could have been. Yeah. I mean, Alex is going to have to shoot a shot here. Uh, 15. Uh, he's going to back up the 15. Back up the 15. He's going to hit the 10. If he so chooses. He'll be hitting the 10 ball. It looks oh. like. Eh, yeah, he's hitting the 10. I suspect he'll hit this slow. If he misses, it'll be hanging. Yeah, they're slow. Not going we're for it. He's going to play shade it. behind the 10. It's called the safe. Not shape behind the 10, but it's called the safe behind the 10. We've now seen more safeties in this one game than I believe we saw all of last year combined. There was a couple of moving <laughs> games. Uh, okay. But I, I don't remember them, <laughs> but there, there, there must, must have been, been a couple of moving <laughs> there games. There must have been. <laughs> it's funny because you watch some of these tournaments, for instance, at the Rio for the BCAPL uh, World Championships, and you have players that want to play safe more than they want to pocket ball sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you forget yeah. how to pocket a ball. And you see these long games. He's called the pocket here, so it looks like he's back kicking. And ball in hand. I don't think he hit a ball. And it's no. tough to go to go to rails uh, and not hit a ball to where, where he went through. Yeah, if you were playing some game that gave you points for total avoidance, that was a perfect shot. Mm-hmm. Skittles pool. Is that total avoidance? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to knock those Skittles down. <laughs> the pins? Yeah, the, the pins. Yeah, the little yeah. little pegs, okay. little peg pools you set, you set up. I thought you wanted to knock them down. Uh, no, I think if you, it's a penalty if you knock them down. Hmm. I might be wrong. Probably am, but uh, yeah, that's but why they're set up, because if, if you want to knock them down, you're going to spend all day long in the game putting them back putting up. Putting them back up. Well, it's just like bowling. They figured yeah. out how to do that. All of the lawn games, bowling, croquet, that's how we got pool and billiards. We even, I think, keep the same wording. I say we, meaning somebody else. Cannons and plants came from came from lawn games. Mm -hmm. I can only assume that there was a cannon out there and a plant. Yeah, what do you think he does here? I think he pockets his 10 ball, the 15 next, the 14 next, and then the 12 and then the 8 or the 12 before the 14, one or the other. Well, he's not going to go 12. One. No, he's now going to go 12, 15, 14. And then the 14 up table. Yeah. yeah. Key, ball's the, key ball is the 14, he yeah. and he's going to be straight in off the 15, so, yeah, it's perfect. Here's your perfect pattern play, the last three balls anyway. He's got to hit them perfectly. Yep. He did. This is a stop. The next one is a stop, and so is the eight. Three straight in shots. He might have to go up just a hair for this. And the hair here. Hair enough. Perfect. He might brush the four, depending on his angle. Not necessary. <laughs> he hit that straight to the right face of the pocket. Okay, four to three. Needed that game. It's a race to eight, folks, in this eight ball match. First match of the day. It is the second round on the one loss side. Alex lost to Dennis Hatch. Ernesto lost to Ian Costello. Yeah, he's the undercover guy from Las Vegas. Hmm. That's my nickname for him. Freddie likes nicknames. I like that nickname for sure. Yeah, and it, it fits him too. Yeah, it fits him well. Ian's a very nice guy. Like him. This has been an interesting match so far. A lot of safeties. Mm. It's it's been a little different than the break and run fest. The break and run had. fest. Yeah. Uh, in the other matches. Uh, let's see, the first eight ball match we had was Mitch Ellerman and Chris Robinson. I don't believe we saw a safe there. We might have seen if one. If we saw uh, one, yeah, it, it wasn't was, memorable. Yeah, exactly. And um, the next match 
Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, he smacked that. Did it stay on the table? Not even no. close. Okay. <laughs> At that speed, I'm surprised there's a cue ball left. Is it one ball cracked? Yeah, I mean, here's the f funny thing, if you want to call it funny, is that it, that ball, if the pocket wasn't there, it would have been off the table. <laughs> it looked like it hit the back of that pocket, jumped up in the air, fell right in. Okay. Both ball sets are pretty good. Low balls, they're both good. No, no, I guess the 11 ball is the tough ball, so start with the lows. Um. If you're going to take stripes, I think he takes solids. He'll take solids. There's, he doesn't have to move ball. And I know it seems like the six ball is an ideal uh, key ball, but mm -hmm. sometimes the key ball, you want it farther away from the eight ball. Instead of that close. Yeah. And interesting is that I also thought that maybe, a, oddly oh. enough, it seems oh, odd oh, oh, that a combination oh. might have been a decent play, but I would have shot it from the other side. That's a very odd ball in hand miss. Five ball, he's right there. I, I, I didn't it, quite understand. Yeah, it, you know, at first look, I said, maybe you'll play a combination, but I thought to the right side. You had to clear one of those, but it was mm -hmm. like uh, you do it just because you think it's going to be so easy. It just makes easy easier. But easy, making it easier didn't happen. He's jacked well, up on the sevens. So I shoot in the sixes. He Not has good. given Alex a little bit of a gift here, but Alex does have to unwrap it. And execute. Five ball works as a key ball. So does the seven. So, yeah, any of those balls will actually work as a key ball. But actually, the eight ball can only be played to the left hand corner pocket. Right. Yeah, I don't think he should get. I don't think he should get married to the six ball as a key ball. It's just too close, and it only goes one way. So mm -hmm. he doesn't get perfect position. And he, he, he I, it I like looks this. like he's I just like bunching this. balls in. But yeah, uh, so the it's the seven to the six. Exactly, it's the seven to the six for. Uh, for he's, out. he's loading this up with inside English to get on that four ball. Left side of the four. Oh, it looks oh, like he's coming he was right back here. Okay. This is just, he's, he's okay. He's okay. This is just a little stun, or he can draw it to the rail and just make sure he, he has to maintain the angle on the seven, a healthy angle. Uh, he has, he has it. He can stop this. Yep, he's good. Looks like he's perfect. This, these two balls to tie the match at four. Well done, Mr. Olinger. Four to four. Ball in hand, and he missed that combo. Yeah, Ernesto's got to really be thinking, what exactly, what, you know, he didn't have to play the combination. It was a, yeah, yeah why not play a combination? Because it was fun. Just pocket any, either of those balls into any other pocket if you wanted to. That's two games that are was kind of a gift wrapped. Yeah. Especially on that other versus the last game with the big break. He mm -hmm. was wide open and never gave himself a chance to run it out. Yeah. Just like this one. Now he had ball in hand. He didn't give himself a chance to run out and actually, he missed. In that case, that's three games because he, he, he hung up that eight ball. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And ended up losing that game. Uh -oh. Got kicked in. Wow, He's okay. It's okay. But did the ball go in? Um, I don't think so. There's five. 
10, 15, no, no ball went in. Ten ball is tough for the stripes. And of course, all the one, three, same area. Tough for the solids. That little group of five balls there mm -hmm. messes everything up. But having the 11 ball there. Yeah, the 11 ball for the stripes can break them out, and the five ball for the solids can break something out. Does that 10 ball, might that 10 ball go by the three to the four? It corner? might, it might. If it does, he's playing for it right now. Yeah. Why not? Then you don't have to bump anything. And if he's straight in, he could follow it down just a little bit and get straight in on the nine. He can get there from the from 11 the or, or from the 10. Yeah. But he's not shooting that, so it either doesn't go or it goes very easily. Hold it. Well, he's got the perfect angle to open it up if it doesn't go. And have an insurance shot on the nine. You don't want to do this too hard. No. That's what he's looking at, and you don't want to do this too hard. Yeah, in fact, yeah, the insurance, no, the I believe, is actually the 12 ball. I know he's shooting the 12. The insurance yeah. has got to be the, yeah, it's the nine. If he's got to be playing for the nine ball, right? Mm-hmm. And he's done that nice. The nine. Uh, Let's take a look at the 10 now. It almost feels like he should shoot the 10 ball in to the side pocket. Off the 11, if it goes. Yeah, but he's got to make sure the 11 ball stays up, mm -hmm. stays in play. He can actually, well, it, I think he can play the 9 and use the 5 to hold the cue ball there. If the ten does go off the uh, uh, into the side pocket, yeah, perfect. Now, if the ten ball doesn't go into the side pocket, he still has a fifteen available. This is but how does he get on the 10? <laughs> There's no ball to play afterwards, unfortunately. Yeah. You know, it's uh, if oh. he hits this harder. Oh, this ball goes in the side. He can play the ball off the 11, uh, draw it back just a hair, and get on the 14. Well, the only issue really is or whether follow. or not the uh, 11 ball. Where does the 11 end up going? It goes down the rail towards the pocket. Right there to the open. And he is, ooh, it looks like he, no, I think he can play the 14. Left hand English. Mm -hmm. Don't Not get tree top. Right? There you go. And he'll come across to the middle of the table to play the eight ball in the upper left hand corner. Missed it. No. Got to make those balls. Those have to be cut. He hit way up. Way up, didn't give that ball a chance. Gift wrap for uh, Ernesto. And you know the, the, the bonus for Ernesto is, is where the 11 ball ended up. Anywhere yeah, down table, end. not much of a shot. That's right. Yeah, so if he got in a situation yeah. where he had to play safe. Sure, you could just roll up to the three, uh, you know, there's so many things. I don't expect him to have to play safe at all. I don't either. But, it just but it, if he had to. Yeah. Yeah, Alex has put himself in a bad spot. Ernesto has chosen the two ball as his, as his key ball. ball. It happens a lot in eight ball, but normally not when it's wide open like this. Yeah. I prefer to be closer to my work, but this, you know, he can play nice line shape for the eight, regardless right. of which side he gets on the two. Just doesn't want to get straight in, but if he did, it's all right. Yeah. But he'd rather not. He's perfect. This ball's going to come towards his side pocket. 
I think uh, your definition of perfect isn't the same as mine. He's good, but it's done <laughs> perfect to somewhere else. <laughs> so now he's got a longer cut. It works. Look who we got here. And so now he's got to make a shot here. Yeah. It's kind of free. And he's made it. Yeah. Just in case. Look at his just in case. Right. Nine feet away. Go ahead and bank it. Five to four. Race to eight. Alex is going to take a break here as he re needs to rethink what's been happening. Our combatants are back in the arena. Are CSI Arena. Are they? Mm -hmm. did, Ernesto, did Ernesto even move? Um, he looks like he's perched like a hawk. <laughs> you know, when you said that, it made me think of a little bit of a a joke that I've seen on a postcard where you see two vultures sitting on a cactus. The heck with this, I'm going to kill something. <laughs> 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 Nothing's moving and they're sitting up on top. Was it last break that Alex's didn't, oh no, last break he popped off, him off the table. Yeah, popped he it. smacked him so hard and uh, I thought he broke the one ball. See if he smacks him this hard again. That's, that's what. See if he uses his little hip to get his hip to get into. Ooh, hard, hard, hard. He smacks him. <laughs> it hurts my ear when he hits him that hard. Um, he's got one shot. 
Yeah, he's got one shot. I don't and know if he can 13. get the ball out of there. And it's and it's his problem shot. Yeah. 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 So it's almost like he has to for sure. Yeah. If he shoots the 13, he might be able to get down there if he can even see it. Mm. The four ball might pass the three ball. If it does, and then the solids don't look so bad. What do you think? I think he's, no, playing, he's, I think he's playing, playing this 12 ball, and I think he, he comes up for the 13, uh, 13 or the 11 next. I don't think he stays on the bottom rail. I think he gets it up. That's, I'm gonna yeah, say, that's, that's enough. Did that cue ball, I'd love to see that in replay. It, sound, it seemed like it jumped a bit, caught the uh, nose to come out. Mm -hmm. Well, if he cozies this one in without bumping a ball. I think it does. I think the cue ball, after it hits the rail, if I can see 11, it hits the rail, it goes towards the nine. Yeah, in fact, this is one of those cases where you'd actually rather bump the ball. Sure. If you don't, then that's nice get all soft. the way to the top. Nice and soft, just pocket the ball, pocket speed. Overcut, Overcut it. it. No, it there. still went in. And now again, um, you can play the 15 first or the 13. I like the 15. Mm -hmm. Don't get married to it as a... <laughs> as the key ball, if it uh, it's better to use it as position. Now the nine ball's in a good spot, and he's but he's going to use the nine ball. Uh, the he doesn't need a key ball for the eight. Ten ball will be the key ball. Yeah. Yeah, just stop this and go one rail. Mm -hmm. Some people would go two rails. Just. Oh wait! Don't get too straight. He's not straight. Nicely done. Good speed to get on the eight. He's going to be straight enough in. <laughs> That's the kind of break and run that Alex needs to keep I in the game. So. Yeah, he's tying things up and keep your mental state right, yeah. you know? He's missed a couple of shots badly, and they're, they're, they've been, uh, they were routine shots, really. Yes, for sure. So uh, we're tied to five. This is a race to eight. Uh, both players are seeing the finish line and feeling the uh, stepping it up for the finish line. Well, let's hope so. And there's a man right in front of the booth right now that uh, when he sees the finish line, his focus just seems to zoom up. A man by the name of Shane Van Boning. Three-time U.S. Open 10-ball champion. Hmm. Ernesto racking the balls. We're tied at five in a race to eight. Ernesto has been breaking the ball as well. Yes. He had one relatively weak break, but he said, I'm going to amp it up. <laughs> Well, he's going to amp this up. Smacked him pretty good. Ball is down. And he wants the nine to give him something here because he he's really didn't have a good shot. Nine got a shot is on good. The nine. He's got and a shot it on leads. The four. Oh, he does have a shot on the four. Mm -hmm. it, it passes the six? It seems to, and it looks like he's got a shot on the one, too. We've got to take the magic rack out. If he has the shot in the four, that's going to be a shot. Probably, because if he shoots the nine, he has to break out the 13, 14, but it's sitting right there. But mm -hmm. in breaking it, now you're running into the balls and going towards other balls and tie it up. It feels like he should be shooting the four. Yeah, the ball, the or ball he should play a combination. Combination of what? I don't know. He played a combination before. <laughs> he seemed to be a good idea back then. Um, it didn't work, so he's not going to go there again. Okay. Oh, I think he's. I think he's out. He plays this two ball. Comes down a little bit. The four ball. 
Yeah, the only the concern three, the is to make sure he gets to the three ball to the seven ball, mm -hmm. get above the three mm -hmm. ball to get down to the seven ball. So yeah, it looks like a four, six up table, three. He might shoot the seven ball now. Close. It's close. He might have thought about it, let's put it that way, but I think he was playing shape for the six. This is one of those that feels like you need to play this all the way to the uh, foot sp uh, head spot. I think he should have been looking oh. at that seven ball earlier because he's going to have a hard time with the seven. Well, well he's going to have to get on it now. Now he's got to get on it. Yeah. Because yeah. if he gets on the wrong side of three, exactly, exactly. he's in trouble. We see this pattern a little bit funny a lot. When two balls are side by side to the same pocket, mm -hmm. the first ball has to be perfect. Actually, we saw a shot earlier in the first rack where uh, there was two balls up table where the first ball was funny and didn't quite get the right angle. This lays nice. Yeah, but can, uh, he can stay out of side pocket. He can uh, play he's going to play ball. Well, he's gonna seven, play the seven ball. First. I played seven the three ball, ball three first ball and bumped the last. seven. I played the three ball and bumped the seven. He went right by it and got perfect. Yeah, yeah. I like I like the way he played that. He decides to come across and play the eight ball in that pocket, which is fine. And this will get him. This ball will get him to six games, needing two more for this match. These gentlemen are on the one loss side. The loser has an early second day uh, out from the U.S. Open eight ball championships. Well, as you just said, that the, both these players they're seeing the finish line, and both of them have amped up their game a little bit with two mm -hmm. break and runs. Well, let's continue the trend, and we'll finish right. this match a lot stronger than we started it. Alex has been breaking the balls very hard, and as long as he doesn't scratch, uh, he's been coming up with the better spreads, except mm -hmm. for one break. Mm -hmm. well, both players have shown us they can move. Both players have shown us they can run out. Yeah. So they're both willing to play safe when they have to and uh, shoot when it's a must. And let me take these earphones off so I, my ears uh, survive another, <laughs> another break. Stay on the table, Alex. It did, but it did. barely. Mm. And uh, look at these balls come back. Sometimes hitting oh, the four nine. Suddenly, this is going to be. You're going to have to come up with a strategic shot. Yeah, half of those balls on the foot of the table went up table and came, came back. back down. He hit them that hard. Well, I'm the type of player that I wouldn't mind um, trying to play this four ball and getting on something. Playing the four ball. You're going to take that combo 11. Combo ticky. Uh, combo ticky four? Yeah. But then again, I wouldn't be playing for the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship. I'd be playing for a beer on a Friday night, and my wife better pay off. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I'm sure there are some smarter shots, but that'd be it, the most fun. It does. Um, yes. It should go, but you're not 100% sure of making it. Right. Not 100% sure of making it, and there's, there's no insurance there. <coughs> oh, he'll get another shot. He can draw the cue ball back for the 15 in the corner. Yeah, but he'd be shooting the low balls. Then he's in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> this is this part of the strategy. If you shoot a combination first, you must remember which balls you are. Which set. Well, now you realize that I don't shoot combinations very often to, <laughs> to start off on, the set. On, I don't think open. I ever have. <laughs> Not very often. I don't play eight ball that often. It's usually ten ball over one pocket. Or nine ball. Here he goes. I know he wants to. I absolutely know he wants to shoot this shot. I'm not going to ask him later. He'll probably say, I have no idea what you're talking about. 11, ticky off the nine, four in the corner. He's aiming it up. He's not going to shoot it. 
Yes, he is. I think you're right, George, when you said that he might not go. It's it, The nine needs to be out just a hair, mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. and it'd be guaranteed to go, but it's not sure. out a hair. Uh, and that I agree with. That. And that was a little tight. If you are in England, you just follow two rails to any of those balls in the center of the table or the five ball. It went. It oh. goes, and he's got, does he have the five ball? Uh, no. He's got a piece of the five ball. We're looking right. Yeah. This is one of the very few times we can actually see this angle here. But If he has a piece of it, then he might be able to make it. I'm going to tell you, George, that if he gets out here, I'm going to put that little clip up when it gets up on YouTube as uh, one of the highlights. One of the highlights. <laughs> Overcut. Get in there, Alex. Uh, oh, boy. No he could see enough to hang it. No highlights. I don't think he could make it the ball. I think you're right. That was a, not a hanger. Yeah. He's, that wasn't one that he just overcut. It. Just, I think he cut as much as he could. Yep. Well, we've got a doozy of a match for you coming up at 3 o'clock. What do we got at 3 o'clock? I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I was told, and I kind of remember. forgot. I think it must be a fireballer match. Maybe Dennis Arculio versus uh, Billy Thorpe or something. I'm just going to go with those uh, two. Billy Thorpe is part of it. And Dennis Arculio is the other part. Ah, somebody remembered. That's right. I, I, I do not, I do not um, brag about my memory. <laughs> All right, well, if Ernesto makes this, he's favored to get out, but unfortunately he's making the ball that was probably leading to the eight ball. But the good shot here. This to get on the hill for Ernesto. It feels like he's gonna shoot the 13 first. He's looking it, but it feels like the 13 is gonna come first. Uh, as it should. As it should. Don't overhit this. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay, he's fine there. Now he's going to yank this back by two inches, maybe one inch. Straight is okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's almost like he can't get bad here. Yeah. <laughs> it's famous last tough, word. Yeah. It looks like he just stops. It. Stops like it. Like I said, he might come back just a hair. He, he went happen. with the stop. And it's perfect. It's actually he just follows. stop, was yeah. it right? That was good. This to get on the hill, because if he gets on this eight ball, he's not missing it. Oh, yeah, see, the eight ball was going the other way, so yeah. one more revolution, but it doesn't matter. He should make this. He better make it if he wants to get on the hill. <laughs> That's right. And he does. Good pace of ball there. Senor Dominguez executes to perfection. Somebody's got to give me Ernesto's nickname. I know he has a couple of them other than Does Pops. He? I want to say that they used to call him something like Chihuahua. Uh, yeah. You know, you're right. If I only knew somebody who would know what Ernesto Dominguez's nickname must have been on the road. I think it uh, was. was. Was it Chihuahua? I'm saying that and somebody's got to call me up like, no way. I've heard this. We'll see. So Ernesto's on the hill here, and he's breaking. Breaking for the match. On the other hand, you know, Oscar calls him pops to everybody, so that's what a lot of people call him. <laughs> I call him Senor Dominguez. Oh, he hit that one. Didn't hit that one clean. Anything going? Nope. No. Nope. Dry. But Alex has a good shot to get out here, shooting the f four, 15 off the, four. off the four, straight in the 11. That's the only tough shot he's got. Those are the two tough balls, and he's got a perfect shot to shoot the first one. Doesn't shooting the 15 get him the 11? Yes. I was yeah, saying that, yeah, that was perfect, those yeah. are the two trouble balls, and he's got the first shot to get on. So he's lined up for his problem balls. <laughs> right there. All in one uh, swoop, one fell swoop. Yeah, and the only thing he's got to guard against is having that four ball tie up the 12 ball. 
he had a similar shot earlier, and he, uh, but of course, he was shooting his own ball, mm -hmm. his own ball out. But this is really it. 15 in the side pocket, sticking right there. Maybe bumping the five ball out of the way to get make sure he's not treetop. Yeah, he's fine. Get the get out of there. Get the four ball out of there, and he should be on his way. Just to, a little bit of a draw in. shot for the 14. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think so. And then you, oh, where does that eight ball work? When he, uh, yeah, the eight ball will pass here once once this ball's out of the way. Oh, right, no, I'm thinking does it pass to the other pocket so you could use uh, the balls on the right side there. It's gonna draw uh, this out of this ball anyway, yeah. so now it's clear. And really, it's just about execution. The 13 is a nice key ball. If it goes by the deuce. The 13. This the bottom eight. 13. Yeah, eight yes, ball. It looks like ball. from here the eight ball okay. looks, but I could twist my eyes. And well, this one's a tricky one because it went mm. forward, and now he's going to take, take a tough nine, I believe. The nine or the 10. He can play the 10 and then play the nine, or play the 10, the 12, and the nine. He's got three balls up there. It doesn't matter what order he shoots them. Well, he can't shoot the 12. Well, no, he's not going to shoot that one. The I 10 or the nine? How's that? The 10 goes? Yeah, it goes right by the 12 all day. Okay. If that's the case, he'll shoot it. Oh, Alex, don't lose your ball. Doesn't need to do that, but I want. Yeah, I guess he wanted to keep his stroke. But now he's going to have to bunt this nine ball. Just a stun. Oh, okay. Just so he's, 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 he's got he, part he's of the got, bottom of the ball, but yeah. if he's only got the right part, then he's just got to make sure he guards against too much swerve. Mm. Twelve in shape for this. Oh, he just thundered that in. Again, he didn't need to get straight here yet because he needed an angle to get on this 13. Is he straight or can he bounce off? He um, He's going to have to force it off the rail. He can follow it two rails. Uh, to follow two rails, but, but stay away from the four. Oh, he's got to stay away from the four and the three. He's in a little bit of a predicament here. I think he's gotten too straight on this ball. Well, I'd say that, you know, when he's, he's stroking hard, but I think it's because he just want to keep, he's keeping his stroke. I guess that's the way he must play. Two rails should stay within this floor. Looks like he's, he's pretty straight in. Get away. He's going to get there. He's going to get Oof. there. But you know he's he scared it. He's perfect. He's good. I he's mean, good he's not here. perfect. He's good enough to <laughs> get out. Enough. How's that? He's That's what yeah. perfect means to uh, me. Good enough to get out. Good enough to get out. Okay, excellent. Mike Massey has walked in. A sweat in the matches. Does it roll this one in or go across? Across. Get up there, get oh. up there, get up there, Alex. Is he 50-ish? No, no, he's at the 40, but he really should have been at the 30. <laughs> He'll make this. See, I, I thought there was a concern going by the two ball to that corner. And he's he looked at it real, still looking at still it. Still looking at it, so it's not easy. Yeah, you're right, George. I think that before it looked like it, but mm -hmm. when when he probably shouldn't have been going over there. No, well, well, wait. Let's go back a second. Because yeah, I thought he was it was clear, in, but no. it clearly is not. No, we got to go back a second. I'm. What did you say? You were right. Oh, I you're right. I like you were absolutely <laughs> right. <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, you can take that two ways, George. You got yeah. one. I got one. But there you go. That's not true. You've been right an awful lot. Yeah, he so overcut. He it. overcut that. Yeah. In fact, it looked like he cut it as much as he could. That ball never went, or if, yeah, it, no. if it went, it was very difficult. It, it looked like it wouldn't go out. You know, I wasn't sure, but it, it was tight enough. It was tight enough. Ernesto can close out here. So he didn't get on the 50 yard line. He actually was on the 60. Yeah. And there was no. He actually fumbled. He fumbled, I think, yeah. He's going to open, he's gonna open up those balls, yeah. And they're definitely open. There it is. And if the two ball passes the eight, no challenge, no issues, but if it doesn't, then he's got to get on the other side. Shoot on the short side, but it's not exactly humongously difficult. 
He's going to save those three balls for the end, I think. I think he's going to, he might just, well, he, he seems to. And yeah. if I look up and he could shoot, shoot that. Else, yeah. If the two ball goes, then uh, he can save the balls up top. The two ball does go because that's what he's playing position for. Watch out. Right. Oh, he okay. wants to take he's care there. of all everything on the bottom. Some people play that way, you know. Yeah. I, I I don't. I play whatever whatever I gotta get to. You don't mind seesawing the table? Yeah, but then again that's probably because I'm just all over the place with my position play. But no, mm -hmm. sometimes it doesn't it doesn't pay to stay on one side of the ball on one side of the table. And sometimes it that's does. It's too tricky. There's more room to maneuver the, the other way. Um, yeah. The way those balls were laying, uh, you could have taken care of the top and then the bottom and worked, you know, been closer to his work the whole time. It didn't, didn't matter. There was no... Well, I like the way this has come out. Mm -hmm. Stop shot on the floor. One or two rails with the, the seven ball. He needs to make sure he has an angle. And oh, he, He's got he an angle. He needs to make sure he can reach this. <laughs> That's right. He might be... Uh, Forward two rails. Look, look at this. He's got a 23-inch bridge. He needs to make Keep an angle. He's per perfect. perfect. <laughs> That's per I, that now perfect. our definition of perfect uh, matched lined up. Matched up. Matched up, matched up, that up. One. Yeah, because he's not stretched out. Mm -hmm. He's got the right cut, like that uh, 20 degree, 30 degree, somewhere in that range cut. Just a nice follow to the bottom right. rail. You just have to make this ball. Mm -hmm. Two balls down there. And that's the ball game. Congratulations. Ernest Ernesto Olinger. moves on. Uh, Mr. Olinger is is out, out is eliminated. Tournament. All right, everybody. We'll see you in 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock. And Dennis Orpulio.